Oh, right. So it's time once again for a premiere draft of Kaldheim. I got the token entry from the uh, mastery track. I started watching my old videos the, from the first three that I played in Kaldheim. And yeah, <laughs> a lot of mistakes. Uh, it's amazing to see like just how difficult it is for me to evaluate cards without the input of other people. But luckily, I have, I think now, the good people next to me with uh, well, the man the movie is Scotty not his list to my left here. Dragonkin Berserker is good. Yep. They actually list it as one of their top cards in red. As for the other good cards, Valkyrie is solid. Feed the Serpent is great, but... But uh, this is just a threat that can make more threats. Which dragon you control? Well, I'm probably not going to control very many dragons, but like... Yeah. But other than Feed the Serpent, Stalwart Valkyrie, I mean, Crush the Weak can be good in the right deck. Same with Arcanist, Harbinger's Filler, Fearless Pup is Filler. Glittering Frost can be used. And then we just get a Doom Scar Titan. Pretty sure that's also good. No? No, they have him as a C. But he is red. Let's see. Agar. In Giants, he's good. I could theoretically pick Agar. Spirit of Alder. Alder guard. Oh, there's a lot of choices here. If I want to stay to true, like the Agar is better than Doomscar, but I think that he's not. I think that with Dragonkin Berserker, the pull from this good card is it's good enough that I'm going to choose the Titan here. Okay, uh, Basalt Ravager is good. Bound in Gold is probably a bit better. But again, like, the pull from Dragonkin Berserker is pretty, I think, is strong enough that they, he overcomes that bit better. Uh... There's a lot of playable cards in here, but I think the most powerful is either the Ravager or the Bound in Gold, so I feel quite confident choosing the Ravager here. There's a Rune of Speed or a Firewalker. I've definitely had a good red pick for the first four picks here. I'm not sure how Rune of Speed is. They have it as like, a, looks like they average it as a C versus like Frostbite, which is. Tuscary Firewalker. They have Tuscary Firewalker as a bit better than either Frostbite or Rune of Speed. And I kind of agree in the late game, he's a real good card if, like, both abilities you activate. Huh, so it's not only discounts his own boast abilities, it also discounts everything's boast abilities. So here I'm finally lack. Oh no, I was about to say I was going to lack a good red pick. So again, there's still some strong cards in this pack. So glimpse is good, not on color, but we do have a giant. Uh, frostbite is nice. Struggle is nicer. So the, it's either Struggle, Frostbite, or Glimpse. And again, I know I'm playing red at this point. So I'm fine passing these two cards. Uh, 
Okay, so... This guy actually gets back Berserker, of all things. Um, Shepard is, is good. We know Code Spell Cleric is not good. Cinderheart's the only option in white, but it's not... It's not what you're looking for in this kind of a deck. Um, yeah, there's not very many options for us here. Now, this is truly the first time there's no options. So, I think I'll just speculate and take the best card in the pack. And if I keep seeing white... Like, getting a Steel Cover Mountain for a single Frostbite, meh, because I have to get more. But the Gold Maw Champion... Huh. They don't have it. They have a Gold Maw Champion as, like, a D? I don't... Is that correct? But I also think it's, like... I think Horizon Seeker is the best card in the pack, but... Um, Crush the Week is kind of anti-synergetic with what this deck has. Yeah, I mean, I just kill a bunch of my own creatures. So I think it's just Fearless Pup. It's not a great pick. I think the best card in the pack is the Gates, but... Okay, so this is what's come back around. And we saw Fearless... It's Fearless Pup versus Craven Hulk. Fearless Pup does have the Boast, which gets discounted by the Berserker. A little bit of synergy there, not a lot. Um, I think I'll just take a second Fearless Pup. I don't know if that's correct or not. So I could take another Gold Maw Champion. Hoggy Mob is not... I just, I, I'm just pretty sure Hoggy Mob is kind of not worth it. There's also some consideration for the Scorn Effigy, but I do want... They're not Berserkers. So here it's either the Raider or the Helm. It might be the Helm. I'm going to pick... No, it doesn't look like it's the Helm. Um, maybe it should be the Helm. If I'm going into red-white, there's going to be a lot more options for that kind of stuff. And even though I do want two drops... Oh, wow, the Rune of Speed has come back all the way around. So there's probably no one in red given that both Frostbite and the Rune of Speed. Um, yeah, I don't want a lot of... I already have... Like, this guy's basically a 5-drop. This is a 4-drop. This guy's kind of a 4-drop. All right, well. I don't want to play Cinderheart Giant. So Reflections of Lajara, I'm not going to play. Red is pitiful here. White is pitiful here. What are the good cards? Good cards is like the spirit. And... Yeah, Spirit of Elder Guard is, is probably the best pick from this pack. I literally could just take this mountain. Or I could take the Gold Mall Champion. I think the mountain is not important enough. So here's the Axe Guard Armory, which is nice. I could... <laughs> All three of these uncommons are one of the lands. 
Yeah, I think I'd rather pick up Axe. My other options are like the Breakneck Berserker, which I'd probably... Another Tormentor's Helm or a Craven Hulk. I think I'll just take the Armory as kind of like a free thing. And I do have the Tormentor's Helm. I did pick that up. Uh, Vicious Return is good, but I'm just not there. Axe Guard Cavalry, I think, is good, and I'm also I also want to fill up fill up on two drops. Yeah. Uh, Warrior. I think it's the Batter Shield Warrior. I'm pretty sure that guy's pretty decent. Yeah, he's decent. Versus the Breakneck, yeah. So nothing amazing coming my way. deck is shaping up, I think, to just be okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not interested in a second Rune of Speed as much as I am in just another two-drop Iron Verdict. Not the kind of removal I'm really looking for. I'm looking to be the attacker. So my opponent, if my opponent's creatures are tapping, I'm. <laughs> it's. Uh, I'm already in like a position where it's hard to recover from. <clears throat> but not to say I wouldn't pick it. But I'm gonna take the raider over the second rune of speed. Could see the wings or the cavalry. Raven wings with rune of speed on them would be pretty insane. Pretty, it would be kind of a headache to deal with, and it would also give my axe guard armory a second target or a third target. I think I'll take that over the second axe guard cavalry, but it was close. All right. I'll try Clarion Spirit. I'm not sure it's going to actually trigger that all that often. But I mean, it could. And it's just the best card in the pack. Again, I already said what I said about Iron Verdict. I think I'll take the Berserker over the Oracle. This doesn't have Boast. It could foretell with Clarion Spirit, but... I think I'd rather just have the Berserker from that pick. So, none of these. If this was best of three, I'd take Shackles of Treachery. Um, I could just take it to... I just don't think there's a lot of sacrifice stuff. Okay. I think the auras I have are already good enough. I'm going to take another... Breakneck Berserker. I don't want a second Tormentor's Helm. I'll take Renamuk and start becoming spoiled for choice. Grave Robber's not really what I'm doing here. Sure, if you're going to send that second Rune of Speed my way, I'll take it. Yeah, once again, the Rune of Speed wheeled all the way around. Alright, so there's the Ruined Crown. And with two Runes of Speed, I think this is just the pick. Yeah. 
Use the X card armory to get the rune crown to get the uh, to get the rune of speed. Oh, there's Maja. She's so good. Not really in a position to splash for her though. Oh gosh, what do I? So I haven't been collecting snow for my one <laughs> frostbite, and I don't think I should. I could just take Shimmer Drift Veil. I could take a second Axe Guard Armory. Yeah, I think it's between second Axe Guard Armory or Shimmer Drift Veil to be like the to be kind of a mana smoother. Between red and white. I think I'll take the armory. I am, I was just about to say, I feel a little bit lacking in removal. With just a single frostbite. I haven't seen any demon bolts, and those are at commons. You would have thought that I would have seen one. There's, all, there's an Augury Raven. Gosh, there's this one draft that I was watching myself play three in the original three where I just passed on two Augury Ravens, even though I was in blue. Bet you didn't see that coming. Yeah, I think this is just a clear bound in gold. Icebound Pillar is nice. I'm not blue, though. So again, I'll take a Raider. I have way better equipment than the gold pick. Gold vein pick. So it's just the raider. Pick three. Pick four is a raider. Oh gosh. Yeah. Quality of these cards are not great. Uh, this is probably just the shield mate to choose from over the reinforcements. What do they think of reinforcements? Yeah, pretty much average. I guess the runes of speeds are kind of my draw cards, as well as the X guard armories. These are both good. This cares about types. Maybe I want Dwarven reinforcements to... because it gives me two bodies for my equipments. And my equipments are looking kind of good. So that being said, I think I take another reinforcements over a fourth berserker or a fourth champion I could also take the courser uh sure let's take the courser oh dwarven hammer is good it's even better with small guys you just give each one a hammer and then send them in All right, I'll consider the hammer. Does this also affect equip costs? No, just the just the when you cast the spell. With this much equipment, Starnhelm Corsair might be good enough. Anyways, I wouldn't play. I don't think I'd play these others. Uh, here, like if I was best of three, I'd pick Smashing Success at this point, because... Uh, yeah. Um, sure, I'll take a third Courser. Or I could take the Code Spell Cleric. I think it's just the Courser. And now I do have enough two drops. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Or do I take second reinforcements? Let's take second reinforcements. Probably not gonna play that guy, but I'll take him anyway. Like equipment, equipment so rarely actually gets dealt with that. Okay. All right, I gotta put a pause in here. All right, I'm back. So, uh, this oh, I wish they still have the names of the sleeves. I'm pretty sure this is Boros. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this deck. I'm kind of interested in playing two Fearless Pups just to see because they have first strike naturally. And with this many creatures, I feel like uh, they might be good. Raven wings, crown, run amok. <clears throat> okay, so I know run amok's like my only trick. But I think uh, I think that gets cut. I think I cut. I think I cut. Gold Ma. Could cut Story Seeker, but I. Let's see what does Story Seeker give me. I like Imster and Raider. I think like it gives me some decent uh, card advantage stuff. I definitely don't want to play two, three, four pieces of equipment. They think about Dorvin Hammer. They think is really good. <clears throat> Dorvin Hammer and Rune Crown are my best pieces of equipment. I want to cut at least one other equipment, either the Raven's Wing or the Tormentor's Helm. The hammer kind of does the same thing as the wings in that um, this has evasion, and trample's not really evasion, but it does give them plus three and trample, <laughs> which means they're probably going to trample. And it works when well, equipment works well with just having bodies. So bodies from reinforcements, bodies from Clarion Spirit, I mean, Dragonkin Berserker also makes bodies, but let's be honest, if I make a dragon, I'm winning already. <clears throat> I think... Um, I think I keep... Uh, so, like, and then it's, like, First Strike and Trample is quite good. I might, let's see, these are actually creatures, so, I was this, so this is actually 22, or 23 creatures, basically. Um, I'm going to cut two of the Berserkers, one of the Coursers, immediately. So this would allow, say, things like Berserker and Firewalker to attack unimpeded. Let's see, Shepherd of the Cosmos, I mean, it's a 3-3. Three, three. It does get back. Oh, and then I was going to play 16 lands, because my curve topper is essentially 5. Like, these can be costed down. So, what is this? Nine. Eight is... 
17, so I can take out a planes. Make that 16. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight early drops. Um, so after cutting one of these equipments, I still need to make three other cuts. I also like Fearless Pups because they do help Clarion Spirit a bit. Rune of Speeds will draw me cards, similar with Rune Crown and Axe Card Armories, although it is more specific. But now that I also have Bound in Gold, these two Axe Card Armories have become much better. Um, I think uh, I think Dorvan Hammer does a similar job as Tormentor's Helm and Raven Wings, so I think I'll just keep one of them. I might even cut uh, Raven Wings at this point. Um, I'm kind of happy with my two drops. The only one that I think is somewhat lacking is Story Seeker. Again, I like Dorvin reinforcements for because I have these two pieces of equipment, especially the Dorvin hammer, which just allows each one of these to basically trade for something with five toughness, up to five toughness, <laughs> which is great. And enchantment spells. All right, uh, I'm going to put a pause in here while I think this through. All right, so I think I am going to cut Raven Wings, and I'm going to cut... Uh, I didn't really, I didn't think a whole lot through. <laughs> Let's see, Gold Knot Champion. They rate as like a D or a D plus. And Breakneck Berserker. All right, well, I'll listen to you. Take out the... And take it out. Um, whereas Breakneck Berserker is like a C and a C minus. Uh, the Courser they have is like a C, C minus. And the last cut may be a Fearless Pup, even though it is so good with Dwarven Hammer and Rune... Like, buffing the Pup with equipment is pretty darn good. I think I'll play one and then kind of see how it goes. Let's see, more red than white, but I kind of need red and white. All right, let's call this uh, the breakneck rune. Breakneck runes. <laughs> I don't know. Dragonkin speed. <laughs> Not the drug kind. But the physical kind. All right, well, I think this deck is good. I well, I th yeah, I think it. I think it uh, turned better in pack early pack three. Picked up some nice stuff for it, even though like. Rune of Speed is probably, might be the worst rune, but, um, 
putting it on the. I hope I get the opportunity to put it on the Dwarven Hammer, because then it's just like, look, I equip this, and they get a uh, haste and trample and plus four plus O. Oh. Waiting around. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Cool. I'm clicking to continue game. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like I have to restart Arena. Alright. And I think I'm good. Oh, it's so much lag. Why? Okay. Yeah, this is a keep. I can enchant the bound in gold, I guess. That would be funny, but no. I would obviously enchant a creature. It would still be funny, though. Look, can you guess my colors? <laughs> Don't look at my text, please. I'm going to put out the Story Seeker. I might have to give it the Rune of Speed just to make land drops somewhere. So next turn, he's all tapped out. And I do have the rune to crown, so I kind of want to get this rune in the back into the graveyard. There's my land. Okay, let's put down the breakneck. The equip cost on this too. Okay. So it could be a counter spell. Uh, like saw coming in, he might have something else. So let's just respect it and play, like I'd rather, like ideally I'd play Rune Crown here and get back Arena Speed, but I think I'll use all my mana and play Batter Shield Warrior and I'll see if this even resolves. Okay. Okay. As behold. Eh, but still. So, Giant Wizard, Human Warrior, Dwarven Berserker. <laughs> None of those share types, turns out. So he can attack with the Braggart. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, 
I can put out the reinforcements. <clears throat> or I could... Yeah, I think reinforcements might be the best play, because then I can follow it up with Ravager. Let's see. If he... See, I can attack for five. He attacks back for six. If he blocks the batter shield, then I just pump. And then could either foretell the Doomscar Titan and bet on that. I could foretell the Dwarven reinforcements, or I could just play the uh, Dragon Tekken Berserker. This guy also has first strike. I didn't even realize that. I thought he was already good. So I have two Berserkers, they only deal two damage. I can bound in gold the Bergstrider. I could play Rune Crown, draw a card, and hope for a land. It wouldn't be the second spell though for Clarion Spirit. I can bound in gold the Bergstrider and attack. I think if I rune crown though, and I draw a land, it will be real good. Let's see. My only two play is the Clarion Spirit. Search my graveyard for the rune of speed. Draw a card. To land and then no tax. So, yeah, it did suck to take a turn off of attacking, but putting the rune crown on the dragonkin berserker will allow it to tack past through the Bergstrider in a way. Master Scald. Okay. I can also put the Rune Crown on the Breakneck Berserker. And it'll become like a 5-2 for, for a 5 two and it'll just trade with anything. That will cost 2 mana. I can play Clarion Spirit. Let's see, I do need to be attacking. Equip cost 2. Has haste. So if I'm spending two mana, then I should spend it to Dorvin Reinforcements, or yeah, Dorvin Reinforcements. Next turn, I can hit for three 
with Basalt Ravager, maybe? No, if I draw land. You might have a counter spell up here. So I don't think I'm going to attack this turn. I think I'm going to play Clarion Spirit. And then reinforce. Okay, so now I can Basalt Ravager away the Watcher. Or I can double spell, or I can play the Dwarven Hammer. Or I can equip the crown for two. Gosh, if I had one more mana, it would be great. Um, I think I Basalt Ravager at the Watcher. Okay. 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 So, casting this, um, it's quite good. Let's see, how much would he have to block? Five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You'd have to block all of it. He'd get a free kill on the Berserker. I need to like, you have to block the Berserker and the Doomscar Titan. You'd be able to hit back for four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, he obviously has something, but I will still block. Weird. Okay. Okay, so let's double spell again. So was a six? Gosh, my spells are so expensive. Pay two, no. A 
it's like I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's like better to wear down his creatures continuously or what. I have no idea what to do here. think I've lost oh what the fudge I think there was a way that I could have played this game that I wouldn't have lost but I just don't understand what it was like did I want to keep making tokens with Clarion spirit or what I think that's what I needed to do I think if I had done the Immerster Raider uh, I don't know. Okay, this is a keep. Like, I definitely had the value in that deck. I just didn't have like any way of thinking it through fast enough that Oh well. path to the world tree. Quick cost is two. Why is this pausing? I guess he's going to demon bolt something. Sure. I hope I start drawing land or spells though. Not lands deck. <laughs> not not lands. I mean, there's no snow permanents in there. This was a weird activation for the three seasons. His hand must be super awkward. I 
I mean, my hand is super awkward, too. It's Cos. Because <clears throat> my deck thinks that I need lands right now. Two, three, four, five spells. Five, six, seven. I think I could have won this game if I didn't flood out. <sighs> Thanks <laughs> for putting... <laughs> I guess they had to put those back, huh? So I can play the Dwarven Hammer, or I can play the Breakneck Berserker, and potentially rid him of Spirit of Alderguard. What else does this do? Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control? Yeah. Would you like to be hit for five? Yep. Double haste. Oh my gosh. Are we serious right now? So this boasts goes for five. This I can pay t two and get a hammer dwarf. And then I can five one and then also get the dragonkin berserker. The question is, is if I'm actually going to just die next turn. So nine, 10, 11, 12 damage. And he's going to gain nine life. So between the hammer dwarf, let's see, that becomes eight, five, six, seven. So I actually have to just, let's see if I put that on there, then no. He hastes. He has to do more than this. Okay, well then my opponent made a mistake. He should not have attacked with the spirit of the altar guard. He knew I had the hammer in hand. 
And the other option of holding it back to block just didn't seem like it was winning. So, but it was very strange that my opponent made that play with all that stuff face up. So I guess they just overlooked it. <clears throat> or maybe they were betting I didn't have a land. <laughs> maybe they were betting that I wasn't flooding. <laughs> that must have been it. All right, this is a keep. All right. I wasn't going I wasn't sure I was going to like use the 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 ability on the raider, but now I'm I'm real sure. All right. So I can clarion on spirit either this turn or next turn. Mm, that's a good one. I'm going to play Story Seeker and then Axe Guard Armory and then play Clarion Spirit uh, next turn. I can't block these two ones, nor. I'm just going to attack. If he wants to trade a 2 1 for it, I'm, I'm certainly happy for him to do so. Okay, then. So he has something to do with these two ones. Either buff them or something like that. Okay. So I can Clarion Spirit into Immersturm or Dragonkin Berserker. So since I can boast with a Dragonkin Berserker and get a 5-5, five five, I'm probably going to do that. Yeah. So that's four damage. I'm not gonna block. Let's see, he gains life. That's okay. Um, let's see, I have to... Hold on to this land, I think. Yeah, I have to hold on to this land. Another one. Wow. This is the second opponent that's just had two Arnie Slays the Trolls. It doesn't look like it's the same opponent either. Okay. So the 4 3 is kind of being held back by a 2 1 and a 1 1. 2 1 and a 1 1. I'm going to attack with one of the 1 1s. Oh, he made a 
<laughs> He's like, listen, just stay dead. All right, what do you got? Show me what you've got. Sure, he gets to save one of them. He only has one card left? So, I think I'm just gonna bound and gold his 5-6. Or 6-5. Or I'll bound and gold that one. Freaking A. Oh, fudge! Could have had the courser out earlier. Uh, so this six fives a real big problem. Things were going so well. Like my opponent is flooding. Oh gosh, dang it, man. Did I, was that, those, those two double blocks didn't seem terrible. So even if I foretell this, the next turn I'm basically not, uh, yeah, I'm, I'd be dead. Yeah, I'm just dead. All right. Like, I couldn't race him. He had too much life gain from the uh, two Arnie Slays the Trolls. I feel like this deck is better than this record. There were, when I was watching back my videos, there were some definitely some attacks that were rather loose. And I keep thinking, like, come on. There's actually this stone on my desk that I need to remember to hold while playing this is a keep because for whatever reason my brain goes into like the frenzy panic mode sometimes and it doesn't it's hard for me to calm down sometimes when it gets like that for me to like get rid of some of those uh Uh, they're not like, it's just like a background kind of panic frenzy kind of a thing. It's something that I just really need to work on. Oh. I don't want to play the Imisterm Raiders. Is 
Let's foretell this. Oh, three colors. Still nothing. I don't want to play Rune of Speed here. Into a like I'm trying to think of like what he could have, like why he's not really playing anything. Okay. Yeah, because he would have fed the serpent, and then I wouldn't. I don't think I get to draw the card. I'm actually not sure about that. So the Rune of Speed doesn't give me much of anything. So I'm going to play it on the Fearless Pup here. Okay. I'm going to play, since the since I could either sacrifice Axe Guard Cavalry or Story Seeker. These lindworms driving me crazy. Oh no! No, I was supposed to Immersturm Raider that. Ah, oh, my brain. My freaking brain, dude. Two would die, he'd go down to one. And I'd have three attackers. No, then I'd have two attackers. Because of Feed the Serpent. I can't believe I did that. That was even my plan. I was like, if I draw land, I'm going to play... I'm not going to hold it. I'm going to play Image Storm Raider. Uh, and then I was going to haste Image Storm Raider. I can't believe I did that. I'm blowing these games so hard. So 
So the problem with Shepherd of the Cosmos is that it will get fed to the serpent. Oh, David. Like, I would have gotten through this land already. So I could... Okay, let's shepherd and get back Immersturm. He has to feed this. Why am I an idiot? So I still get a draw card. Oh, it's the Rune Crown. Wow. Okay. Uh, so there's obviously no attacks. And I end my turn. And then it's up to you if you're going to feed the Shepherd. I thought a Nimmersturm Raider had already died, but I guess not. Oh, lifelink. Okay. So I can play the Rune Crown. I'm not going to play the Starnheim Courser because I, w I want it to be the surprise. I'm going to bound in gold his life gain. He definitely has something. Yeah, I think I could have already have won this game if I had played it better. I would have had all these cards one turn sooner. But I might not have had all this mana, but whatever. I put the Rune of Speed on the Raider in case he has Bounce. I don't know what he's splashing. Four. Alright, cool. He's lost. Alright. Oh, that was a that was a nail biter.
Let's do the Dwarven Hammer then. Let's make it borderless. It is in the deck. Seems only fitting. All right. <laughs> With my new borderless Dwarven Hammer, no one can stand before me. Yeah, this deck's like, uh, gosh, Rune of Speed, Rune Crown, Immersion Raiders, the uh, the Angel that I just played that gets a two mana permanent back. I can keep this; it's very slow. Huh. So I could foretell the Dorvan reinforcements or play Axe Guard Armor. Either way, turn three, I'm playing Breakneck. Uh, turn four be like. I think I foretell the reinforcements. And see if what I get. Okay. All right. Three color. There's nothing I can really do here anyway. My hope is that a rune of speed goes into the graveyard. Eh. lands and all right Next turn I can just boast, and we'll be good-ish. It looks like he's successfully slowed me down though. Ooh, a 2-5. Let's see. So once again, I'm looking at Giant Wizard, Human Warrior, Dwarf Berserker. So attacking with a 4-3 and a 3-3, three, three, I would kill a 2-2. Two, two, but the 2-5 would remain. Next turn, I'd be able to just kill the 2-2 two, two with just the Salt Ravager. So I think I just summon the Dorvin reinforcements and pass here. Oh, that sucks. This guy loves those.
I mean, if you have a third skull raid, congratulations. Yeah, the Dwarven Hammer leaving is real bad for me. This doesn't search graveyards. Yeah, just library. It's the Master Skull that would get it back. So this is the end of this deck. It's lost here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the Raider because... I can't win at this point. I have to draw into things. If I draw a mountain, I discard it with the raider. And if I draw a plains, I play it to get runed crown through the armory. I mean, okay. You gain one more life, sure. And we... Oh, bunch of land. Sweet. Now, of course, I'm going to double spell. The... Are they seriously running three skull raids? Okay. Sure. I have 17, I have 19. Okay. It's a red land. So I'm going to hold on to it for my other... Okay. For my other raider. I feel like this deck definitely deserved to get three wins, but it looks like we're getting stuck at two. Oh, they decided not to do that. It's interesting. attack me for three, I'll let you. So what? I have discarded so much stuff. This can be done at any time, right? This is an interesting attack. Why are they making this attack? This is weird. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is a very strange attack. Like, I don't think it's a bluff. Like, I think they have a board clear of some kind. Oh no, was it the one that lets them get back all the dead creatures?
I have a rune of speed in here? No. Like the Dread Rider has me got in like three turns though. So. Oh, they only have one creature in their graveyard now. I think like some of the other games previously, before I started holding on to my special rock, uh, the other two games, I think I had winnable positions, but I'm not sure about this one. Like the two five shadow sage just shuts shut and the having to discard the hammer. If the hammer had gotten into play, this would have been way different. Am I now losing also on Huh? Yeah, I am now losing. Just in terms of like uh, what's in Like, I will deck first, and that's hilarious. I shouldn't be the one decking first. But I am. So the only thing left in my deck is a rune crown. But also, the I don't think I can kill them with just this... It's interesting that he... I guess he... Oh. Never mind. They're now decking first. Wow. Okay. So I can pump once for two. So that's five damage. Five, and then take five again. Because if I double block this, I take two damage. Yeah, let's do this way. I'm not very I'm not a very good person when it comes to how I should order blocks. Okay, so I've I've lost then is what my deck is telling me. Uh eight and five. If I axe guard armory all I can get back is the rune. 
So four, five, six, seven, yeah. Well, this was disappointing. I did not play well again. I did not play well again. I really need to work on that weird panic that happens in my brain sometimes. Uh, and the rock helps. Like having, for some reason, just having it and touching it is. Kind of, I don't know, distracts me, I guess, a little bit. So I really need to pick up this rock every single time. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I had a good deck. I don't think I played it well. Disappointment haunts all my dreams. All right, that's it.